Hi there, it's Dion Vimoltka, and welcome to another week of my video blog. I hope all of you guys turned in last Saturday to watch the Grand Am race on Speed Channel. What a fantastic race. You know, the new livery on the car, the Slavkin flag, with the Slavkin brand, Slavkin Airways, and PR Newswire on the Doran Racing car. It looked fantastic. All the crew guys at Doran Racing, thank you guys so much. You guys did a fantastic job. You guys got the car ready in not much time. Fought back through some uh, hard times through the race weekend and gave us a really car, a car that was faster than I even looked uh, for the race. So definitely couldn't be more proud to, to be working with Doran Racing. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that look at how that car looked even more than I did. It was beautiful. Mark Patterson did a fantastic job all weekend. I could not be more proud to call him my co-driver and my teammate. You know, he fought back uh, in his first stint from a little bit of problems that we had the day before and uh, drove a fantastic first stint, giving me the car, and, you know, th at 35 minutes, you know, great condition, uh, easy car to go challenge with and fight for position and ended up with a top f 10 finish, some good points, still in the battle for top five in, uh, in the points championship with team. So uh, still pressing hard. Can't wait for Montreal in two and a half weeks. Can't wait to see Mark and the team again and work some more and uh, hopefully get the car a little bit more forward, maybe go challenge for a podium and uh, get some get some better points and see if we can get top five in this team championship. So uh, that's, that was Watkins Glen and uh, what, I, what I'm going to be up to for the next uh, week. I'm actually traveling tomorrow to Trois Rivières, which uh, tomorrow's Thursday for me, and uh, racing for APR Motorsports, uh, which is the team that I got my first professional you know, stint with the race team with them last, uh, two year, two and a half, almost three years ago now in, uh, in the Coney Challenge, now the Continental Challenge. I'll be driving their GS uh, Audi S4 car. Could not be more excited than my first time in the car, first time back in that series uh, this year. So should be fun. Continental always has a lot of deep talent, a lot of challenging other drivers. So it should be a lot of fun to get back in there. And uh, can't wait to be drive doing it with uh, APR Motorsport. And my old uh, teammate Ian Boss just got married uh, last week. So congrats, Ian. Can't wait to, to call you my co-driver again. And now as a married man, it should be a, a fun weekend at Trois Rivières. Great fans, great atmosphere, great track. So this comes time where I always say I like to answer your questions, and I saw one question this week that really kind of jumped out at me, and uh, should be a fun one to answer. And I was, you know, what was my favorite track, and you know, turn by turn description of it. And my favorite track actually is back home in South Africa. It's Kailami. I know a lot of you guys know it from Formula One. Used to be there in the seventies. It got changed, and then it came back in the eighties as well with Ayrton Senna and Nigel Mansell and all of them. And uh, what a brilliant circuit! And I have such a technical hard track, but I thought I'd talk about you know one of the U.S. circuits that we all know and uh, actually race on the Daytona prototype. And one track that jumped out in my mind was uh, Mid Ohio. Holds a special place for me. I got my second professional win there, my first test in the Daytona prototype with Doran Racing a year ago. Can't believe it was just a year ago. It feels like a long time now that I'm racing full time in it. But um, yeah, so I'll give you a quick description of it. Comes, you're coming off the front straightaway into a very fast left-hander, down, quick break, down a gear, turn it in as much as you can, keep up on that gas, you're using all the road on exit, sometimes dropping two wheels on off on the exit, trying to get that last little hundredth of a second out of it, you know, qualifying or you're battling for position. And you're up the chute, up a few gears, and then you're into the most important corner of the track, and that's the keyhole. Leads onto the longer straightaway, so you have to make sure you get a really, really good run out of this track out of this uh, corner. So you're down the, down the first gear and you're turning it in, keeping it up on the curb. The track falls away from you a little bit, but onto the gas as early as you can, up through the gears on the back straightaway, you know, keeping that throttle as hard as you can, trying to get that last little mile an hour out of it. And then you're into corner five where the track drops away from you right at the apex. So it's a pretty challenging corner. It really understeers from you. A really technical part of this track, which I really enjoy. You know, I love the technical parts of the track. It's a good challenge. So break it as late as you can, down through the gears, down to second gear, turn it in, you get the understeer right to the exit of the track, and all of a sudden the track goes steep uphill into corner six, which is staring you in the face. And you turn it in, down a gear to first gear, and all of a sudden you realize the track kind of drops away from you at, at apex. So you're really holding on to the rear end, the track the car is really coming down, you're trying to get to second gear, if you get a good run out of it, you can probably pull second. And then comes Madness, which is my favorite section of this track great flowing. You have a right and then a left and then a right and you're cr climbing a hill and you're cresting a hill. The shift lights are blinking at you. You're grabbing gears. You're flat out and all of a sudden the track drops away from you. You have a split second to 
get a little bit of break in, a downshift down to first gear, and you turn it in for a right-hander. Your X and E madness all over the inside curb, and the track drops away from you right as you go over the curb. The car really comes around and dances through this section. It's a lot of fun for the driver. Pulling second, pulling third, up to fourth gear. Last two corners, you have a quick left-hander down to third gear, flowing as much speed as you can right to the exit of the corner. And coming to the last uh, corner, which is a really, really important one that leads onto the front straightaway called the carousel. So you're braking down a first gear. It drops away from you as well, so you have to make sure you don't get too much lockup on the front there. And turn it in, keeping your eyes up on the front straightaway. Get to the gas as early as you can, up through the gears again, and into corner one, and hopefully pull in the gap from the cars behind and uh, passing some people in front of you. So that's Mid-Ohio. I hope you guys enjoyed another uh, week of my video blog, and I'll tune in next week and hear what's been going on and hear about Trois-Rivières. Thanks, you guys. I'll talk to you later.